Finally, this will be the last video in the series of the CrossForce PKI scenario that all the other videos leading up to this uh, have discussed the building blocks to get this far. You remember where we left off, where we published the root and issuing CA certificates from AACO in the BBCO environment. I showed you in uh, uh, ADSI edit where that all lands. And uh, we saw that yeah, public key services in the NT uh, authority certificates. There was another certificate for an issuing CA present. Uh, the trusted authority AACO is present in the BBCO forest. The enrollment services AACO issuing CA is present in the uh, BBCO forest. And that was all due to the commands we did up to this point in the previous video. Uh, we're going to look at using PKI sync in this video. Uh, let's go back to the article now. So again, AACO is our resource forest. BBCO is our account forest. And we've got a two-way trust in Active Directory. We configured this LDAP referral support uh, on the issuing CAs. We published the uh, resource forest certificate service in the account forest. So BBCO will trust AACO certificate services. Uh, you can read through these consolidating certificate templates, uh, copying certificate templates. And it gets into detail about how to use PKI sync. I'll make sure these URLs are in the uh, uh, description for this video. And that was really the final step is running these uh, PKI sync commands. So we can see that uh, these commands will copy a certificate template. I'm going to go ahead and run these on the BBCO domain controller. It just seemed like that would be the ideal place to run that. I'm going to clear this out. So here, oops. Somehow I missed that copy and paste. So let's whoa, try it again. <laughs> ah, you got to love working on computers, right? So here we've copied the two certificate templates over. This is where I really want to caution you, and this is why I'm doing this in a lab environment. You don't want to just do this in a production environment. And it comes down to this last little dash F. That's a force command. And when you're running these PKI sync commands, uh, the force command will overwrite something in the target forest. And so here you can see we're going to copy OID and CA related information with the force command. Try that again. There we go. There's all those OIDs we were looking at. So that's double the OIDs, double the fun. Uh, I actually did compare the two lists of OIDs between the two forests, and there's no overlap. There were they were unique identifiers, uh, just as OID sign <laughs> sort of implies. Um, but I wanted to look and make sure that we understood that it, everything was going to be fine we weren't going to overwrite something and then we're adding information about enrollment services uh, and that goes back here saying hey use AACO in the enrollment services now one of the th commands I actually ran by accident I had uh, typoed the type or I was trying to do something else that wasn't an officially accepted uh, attribute for that given type parameter and essentially what I ran was copy everything from AACO PKI to BBCO PKI and this is why you want to be incredibly careful and do this in the lab first so I'm going to just demonstrate without the force command this is showing you all the things that did not get overwritten because I did not use the force command uh, the OID container, the O certificate templates. You would, if you use the force command, you could potentially 
wipe out all of your certificate templates in the target forest uh, and so on so now let's wrap up here yeah just to conclude then so we have created the trust by publishing the certificate enrollment services we've used PKI sync to copy over the templates and the other underpinnings uh, settings one of the things that I want to circle back on is we need to add permissions to these certificates so we're going to manage and we wanted to use the AACO user as an auto enroll certificate and the AACO workstation as an auto enroll. So if we look at the workstation, we've applied security and we're saying BBCO computers can read, enroll, and auto enroll in the AACO workstation certificate. And we look at the AACO user certificate. Again, here, domain users for BBCO can read, enroll, and auto enroll. And we can go back into BBCO. So those permissions were established. And then we are going to just make sure that we have, of course, published those certificate templates. The user and the workstation are published. We go back into BBCO. We look at. Group policy. And group policy shows us that. We have uh, computer configuration, auto enrollment is configured, and user configuration, auto enroll is configured. Security settings, public key policies, auto enrollment. So basically, these group policies just say user, computer, go get the certificates you're supposed to get. And then it's the permissions on the certificate templates that you have published that determine what certificates the user or the computer will auto enroll in. And we can just look right now and see here's our uh, Win 10 workstation in BBCO uh, and the user is BBCO user. We look at the certificates and we can see the Win 10 BBCO has auto enrolled in the client, the AACO workstation certificate and the user BBCO user has also auto enrolled in the AACO user certificate so essentially mission accomplished I'm going to just circle back here for fun and we can look at issued certificates and we'll see that yeah we've issued certificates in the other forest you can see wow BBCO Win 10 BBCO Phoenix ICA that was for the workstation authentication BBCO user has got the AACO user uh, certificate, BBCO administrator, same thing. So we can see it's all working. And I'm not going to labor any further. Again, uh, subscribe, share, and come back often. We'll be doing uh, more fun stuff like this. Look for these URLs in the description so that you can understand how to use PKI Sync. Again, with the uh, warning that you're going to want to do this in a lab environment so you fully understand because that force parameter will overwrite stuff in the target forest, which may or may not be something that you wish to do. And you want to understand all of that before you pull that trigger. Um, so that's essentially why I've recorded these videos is because I had to do all this work in the lab before I did it in production and I wanted to make sure I knew what I was doing and I feel a lot more comfortable with PKI I hope that you've uh, learned something uh, from watching these videos as well I am going to circle back and do a video of uh, the correct deployment of PKI with a offline root CA and an online issuing CA and a separate web server providing the uh, CR the CDP uh, the CRL and AIA uh, distribution point as well as the OCSP uh, so look look for that uh, again I really basically installed all of those things on a single server here so that we could have a very abbreviated environment and move through it a lot quicker and a lot more simply uh, thank you all very much